let's go for a ride! You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today! Cycle Cruiser videos brought to you at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Top 5 mods to avoid for your motorcycle. I got this as a request from one of my viewers. I'm on my WR 250 fucking R, baby! Loving it! But anyways, the number one fucking mod that you want to avoid. And this is for you cruiser riders out there. And I'm not hating, this is just my opinion, that's all. Take it for what it is. But, don't get those, uh, those tall ass bars. The fucking, people like to call them ape hangers. They're way up here, fucking bars. Looking like this, I guess it look cool out here on the fucking streets. Like I said, I'm not hating on you guys, but this shit is seriously reducing performance on your bike. It's a safety issue, in my opinion. Because if you gotta turn fast or you gotta you know it, it's gonna it's it's gonna reduce your performance your turning performance I mean come on your fucking arms way way the fuck up here uh, that is a I don't know maybe that's just what you call an annoying mod <laughs> for some people it just it looks stupid but and people do it in my opinion they just do it for looks because it just like I said it screws the performance of the bike up but uh okay number two number two hidden turn signals why the fuck do you guys delete your turn signals you know put them tiny little fucking turn signals you put on the side up in there I guess to make the bike obviously probably look more stealth yeah the bike looks cool as fuck you know but it's a safety issue, man. If these people can't see them little itty bitty fucking hidden turn signals on your bike, they're not going to uh, see you, you know, making your turn. You may ha end up having a real fucked up day. Somebody run into your ass because they were, they didn't know you were going to turn. And you slow down and they're on your ass and pop. You end up having a real fucked up day. So definitely screw those, you know, I had on my bike the 600 double R had the integrated turn signals, which is fine as long as they're real bright and they can see it blinking. Uh, but to be honest with you, I avoided that with my CBR 1000 double R and this WR 250R. Just I want to be seen out here. Although in my opinion, though, it's best to use hand signals out here on the street in addition to your turn signals. So if I mean if you're gonna go with those stealth little tiny fucking turn signals hidden on your bike definitely make sure you're using your hand signals uh, hand signals are, are better than turn signals really in my opinion but okay number three holes in your air box I did a video on this in the past where the the, the uh, dyno tuner you know told me all the horror stories with people bringing their bikes in there with fucking modifications to the air box and uh, to the point where they couldn't even tune the bike now I thought that was the case with my bike because as you guys know, I'm, I, I actually just modded the airbox door. So that way I could buy, I bought another uh, stock door so that I can put the, I can completely reverse it back to stock anytime I want to. Uh, you want to avoid putting holes in the actual airbox because if you have problems tuning it or it causes issues with the bike, uh, you can't do anything but to have the uh, the freaking air, whole airbox replaced. And that can be a pain in the ass. On this bike, it's a pain in the ass, I'll tell you guys. To pull the airbox on here and replace it, you got to take half the shit out of the, off the back of the bike there in order to remove the airbox. So, in my opinion, it's better to just mod the airbox door so you can go back to stock anytime. I was able to tune mine. And I have a two, you know, as you guys know, I have a, uh, a switch here. Uh, first map is with the stock door and the second switch here is uh, the second map on this switch is for the modded airbox door so um, what you you want to think you know in, in your mind you want to be able to go back to stock because you know people are going to be if you sit, go to sell your bike people are going to be hesitant to buy that bike with all that fucking holes and shit in the airbox you know so that's definitely a, a modification to avoid carbon pieces you guys spend all that money I guess it, it 
an effort to save weight on your bike. You buy all these little carbon pieces for your, your bike. Yeah, it makes a bike look kind of look cool. If you think it looks great, I guess it's a benefit to it. But you're not saving that much weight. It's pointless to spend all that money on those little carbon pieces to save like fucking two ounces, you know? Or <laughs> you ain't saving that much, man. So, okay, the number five. Uh, the halo and angel light setup. In my opinion, you know, I was gonna do it for the CBR 1000 double I think it looks sick as fuck, but to spend 500 freaking dollars for a, uh, you know, a completed light setup, uh, completed, you know, the, where it comes with the headlights and it's already done for you and you just have to do the wiring and all that shit. Um, that's too much money, man, for just the look of it. I mean, it's not, you know, improving your lighting at all. It's just the, the look of it to have the cool, different color uh, light. You know, the halo light and the, the demon eye where it does look cool as fuck. But for $500, man, and then you got all the extra wires and shit that you have to try to conceal. And then you may have to split, you know, uh, splice into some wires or connect it to your battery. Uh, and some of them have switches, you know, and then if you, you know, if you don't set, you don't splice into the, the system where it'll cut off with your bike. Then you have to worry about leaving the light on. Uh, the halo light on or your angel eye or demon eye or whatever the fuck you want to call them and it running down your battery uh, I had a viewer that told me he, he got one of those uh, completed headlights with the head the halo angel eye and all that and he had some issues with it installing he said it was a pain in the ass and he ended up uh, you know returning it um, I'm not going to add it. I'm just not going to go through the hassle. And in my opinion, for the looks, it's it's not for $500 fucking dollars. I can, I can think of so many other things I can do with $500 than just to spend it on to make my headlights look cool on my bike. When most people don't really give a fuck anyhow. Yeah! Woo! My WR 250 fucking R. Dude, nobody really cares how your bike looks too much, except for us motorcycle enthusiasts. I mean, most people out there, that they don't give a fuck about motorcycles. It's really only you that that is, you know, that thinks the bike looks so awesome. Uh, believe it, I mean, the majority of the population don't like motorcycles. They don't give a fuck about motorcycles. It, we're a very small population. Us that like, especially depends on where you live. Here in Ohio, you know, most people out here have cruisers. Uh, they don't give a fuck about sport bikes and, and dirt bikes and shit, man. They, they, they fucking their cruisers out here, man. And, uh, so, I don't know. If, if it makes you feel good, makes you feel better, then, you know, then, then do it. This is just my opinion. That's and that's all I have for you guys. If you want to see more of my videos, go to my website, psychocruiser.com. Click on the menu tab, my videos. All my videos are categorized into various playlists. Hopefully you can find something that will inform you or entertain you. Hey, subscribe to my all-in-one motorcycle channel. Hit thumbs up if you like this video. Share this video with your friends. And uh, maybe it'll help save them some money. Do what the fuck you want to do, baby. It's your life. As long as y'all here riding, that's all that counts. Check out my other channel, Psycho Cruiser Motor Vlogs, where I discuss anything and everything, not just motorcycle shit.